Good morning, gang. We're in Weatherford, Texas. Welcome to my over the road trucking adventure. If you're new here, my name is Rick, and along with Trucker Kitty, I haul freight all across the lower 48 states. In my videos, I share some of what it's like to be an over the road truck driver. One of the things that I really enjoy sharing in my videos is the awesome scenery all across this country. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be an over the road truck driver, hop in, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. got about 500 uh, miles or so to go. What I've got plugged in the GPS is um, a Petro um, just east of El Paso. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to go that far. It's 559 miles or so. Um, my goal is 500 miles. The problem is that there's no truck stop well, no big name truck stop um, between Van Horn, Texas, and this Petro. Now, I don't need to drive this far. Um, the total distance we've got to drive currently. Well, let's just say if I got if I drove there. Tonight. That would leave only 400 miles per mile. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, but uh, we'll see how it, how I feel. So anyway, uh, we picked up this load yesterday in Sulphur Springs, Texas, about 80 or so miles east of Dallas. And then we came here about 150 miles away, shut down for the day. It was nice. Um, got to get all of my laundry done. Um, I really needed to get my bedding done. Um, I hadn't done that in a while. <laughs> it's okay, because I'm a guy. <laughs> so, I uh, got a lot of, a lot of uh, video editing work done yesterday, which was nice. Kitty is um, whining because he figures since we're getting ready to go, I should give him treats. But he doesn't normally get treats till noon. The problem is that there's been a lot of times in the last couple weeks that I haven't got rolling until around noon, and so I've given him treats. I set a bad precedent. Anyway, we're not quite ready to go yet, so... Uh, uh, check back in in a couple minutes. All right, we're ready to head out. So let's roll it. Truck wash is still got a line out to the street. Oh, 
finally got through. I don't know what the deal was, why that why that oversized load wasn't falling through. Not like it was hung up or anything. But at least it didn't appear that way to me. But there was a cop that was in all that mess and he went up there to sort it out and then suddenly they got it worked out. <clears throat> and of course, that particular intersection is a real Charlie Fox drive. I mean, it's really bad. Um, and so even the, even the clear up is like, you know, untying uh, a major knot. So, yeah, big mess. I should have turned the camera back on as we were clearing that, but I forgot. Yeah, this isn't the guy, it's the other guy with the same load up ahead. Okay, I had to move over because that lane ends here. Uh, now we gotta get entangled with people coming off the interstate onto the frontage road. I gotta move over so I can get onto the on-ramp to the interstate. This is Texas. This is how they do things here. And you gotta use this space to get up to speed because there's no merge lane to speak of, which you'll see in just a moment. to make sure you're up to speed by the time you get here. Uh, and I'm not, because I'm a big truck. Wow, we do have a merge lane. That's unusual. to get up to speed. I'm not even up to speed and he's slower than me. Understand that you need to use all of that lane to get up to speed to match or exceed if you need to get in front of someone or slightly slower if you need to come in behind them. It's your responsibility as the merge E to merge in properly. Don't be like 10, 15, 20 miles slower than the, the rest of the traffic. Flying J to take a 30 minute break, which is over. This is in Pecos, Texas. Exit 42, which means we're 42 miles and change from intersecting with Interstate 10. Man, this place is just busy. Crazy busy. Go inside and 
place is overwhelmed with oil field workers. It's crazy. And then there's just a constant moving, movement of trucks. And not trucks like mine, like with, you know, dry van stuff, long haul. But uh, a lot of... Uh, oil field related stuff. Although some of it I don't know what it is. Yeah, these uh these hopper trailers, there's a whole bunch of them here. I don't know what they're all. Anyway, uh just it makes it difficult to maneuver in here. It's so busy. I should have been able to pull out and go straight from where I was parked. Instead of gotta move you know, have to drive around like we you know just did. But we're out almost. Get back on the interstate westbound. Oh, it's not the only truck stop in town either. There's a lot right across the street. to that Petro east of El Paso. So we covered over 567 miles today. That's a lot. Uh, and we only got 400, a little over 400 to do tomorrow. So that's good. Um, what else? Yeah, we got here at 7.30 and there was plenty of parking. So I was real, real happy about that. Um, nothing exciting happened today. I didn't do a lot of filming. Um, I was distracted listening. I was to, to an audio book, so I'd go along for like an hour and go, oh, I should probably record something. And then I'd record for like a minute. So that'll show up as high-speed stuff, just to show the terrain and, and what's going on. Um, so, yeah, nothing really uh, to report. Just, uh, it was a good day. Weather was awesome. It got a little windy at times. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just wrap it up here. Uh, let me see, anything about tomorrow? Nope. Uh, oh, you know, I was going to check something. Um, aha! My load, apparently... Maybe. Yeah. Apparently, my load, which was originally scheduled to be ready Friday morning, 
today's Wednesday, we're going to deliver on Thursday, we delivered this load on Thursday. It was slated to be ready to go Friday morning. Uh, my load details are telling me that it's ready now. So they must have got the trailer loaded early, it's a drop and hook. So when I, when I deliver this, which is a drop and hook, um, I can drop this trailer and then pick up the new load and go. Um, still going to stop in Eloy at the Petro. That's my plan. So, uh, slight modification, but it's a good one. So that's the only new news, new thing. Um, I got nothing else. <laughs> If you like the videos, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share these on Facebook and Twitter with your friends and family. And uh, thanks for riding along with us today. Meow. You got treats over there in your little dish. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You go get them. You go get them. Come on, see? Right here. Go get him. Yeah.